A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, you got it. You did it. You did it. Hey, everybody. Dr. Eric Herman, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love. Back for another, yet another video. This is my new patient, Bill. Welcome back. Good to see you again, Good to see right? You, doctor. Bill's here for his second visit. He came, was it last week or the week before? Last week. Last week. And he's been to another doctor in Manhattan, I believe Dr. Shoshani, for his first ring dinger. And it was successful. Yes. But there was, you know, like a little location thing. I'm a little easier to get to, so yes. it's more convenient. Yeah. So he decided to come over and see me, yes. Yeah. And, and you had your first visit yeah. with me. With you. And doing better, right? It was terrific. It was a terrific first visit. Good. I'm going to go over a little bit of your symptomatology. You've had some trauma on the right side, like up and down, right? Up and down. You had a nasty torsion fracture in your... Yep. No, I'm pointing to the left, but you're in the just right. On the, the right. right side, right? Mm -hmm. And then what happened up top? I think it's just carried through. Oh, uh, just there because wasn't a, of... It wasn't a traumatic injury, but yeah. I think I've got... I've got uh, bad compensation because that torsion fracture. Gotcha. But most of your symptoms is are on the right. You got right. It's right real side. all tight all the way down, is yeah. according to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we did a good ring dinger the first time, and then in a full body. And you said you had some release, particularly in the shoulder. Yeah. Got looser. Yes. Right. And, and the he, hip. And the hip. So and better. Better. But now you're back for even more. I want more. I love it. <laughs> Why not, man? This is like a tune-up for the body. Yeah. Why not get it, per, like, let's get you tuned up like a precision Bugatti, man. We'll get you doing 247 miles down the highway. I'd take 220. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, so I appreciate you coming back. And you drove a little ways over to Bridges yeah, and everything, yeah, right, yeah, to come yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. good. So thank you for coming back, and I'm going to do my best. We're going to roll in. I'm going to do a little mini exam again, and then we're going to do another full body and, and ring dinger, and we're going to film it. And everybody's going to see it in a second. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I'm just going to look at your posture as you present today. You still have a little shift to the right in your pelvis. And it's... I'm going to say, I don't have a measuring device, but I'm going to say quarter inch only. So that means it held mostly. Not all the way, but it held. Because when you walked out, it was even. But when we started, it was an inch and a half short, which means for the audience out there, his right hip was pulled up way high this way. And when you look down at the heels, it looks like he had a short right leg, but his leg is actually not shorter. It's it was pulled up by an inch and a half. And today it's only about a quarter inch, which is good. That means it reversed a little bit, but not all, the, not nearly all the way. So you're holding some of the visit from some of the uh, benefits of the treatment from last week. But as I feel it, yeah, you still got the pattern. The pattern's going to take a while to resolve. It's yeah. still really tight here. Yep. And yeah, still tight here in the right. Okay, so I'm going to bend up the knees. Remember from last time? Let me know if that causes any extra pulling here or any extra pain in your lower back. It should pull the, the thighs. That's normal. So here we go. Pull, bend, bend, bend. What do you feel in your lower back? Very good. Okay, come on down. Now let's look at your range of motion of your sacroiliac joints. <clears throat> so I'm going to press down on your tailbone just a little bit. Start with your left leg. Remember this one? Don't bend it. Yep, lift it up off the table as high as you can go. All right, pretty good. good. Bring it down. Is anything abnormal? Yeah. Do the right side. Uh, again, down. It looked like length. I mean, um, height-wise, it looked like it went up pretty good. You feeling okay? Yeah. That's great. That's great. As I push, though, I do still feel some tightness here. So we're going to continue to work on releasing this pattern here. The, the, uh, the last joint connecting to your tailbone is also pretty jammed up in there. Is it sore when I poke? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that means there's still some inflammation happening. Any soreness out here in the right? Yeah. Yeah. How about on the left? Less foot there. Less foot there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to just work my way up the spine a little bit. Still got some restriction. Not too bad, but still a little bit of restriction. Then when I get about here, it starts to feel really jammed. Actually, right here, then it gets loose again, and then it gets tight again here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 
and sore here. Yeah. yeah. So there's still in the transition area between your neck and shoulders, there's definitely still some compression. So we're going to pull that out today and we're going to loosen up all the scapula and all the muscles surrounding this right scapula and the right sacroiliac and the lower lumbars. We're going to do everything. We're going to do from head to toe, we're going to adjust. Um, okay, so basically I'm ready to go. Same thing as last week. Okay, stay here, stay here. I want to stretch you out and loosen you up a little bit first. Okay. And then we'll go back in the back room. So you stay relaxed. And just give me a heads up if anything I'm doing doesn't feel right to you. Or hurts or makes it feel worse. Otherwise, enjoy. <clears throat> Yeah, we're right, much tighter on this right side. <clears throat> yeah, when, when this was altered, it could just, then every time you're walking, everything else above is altered. Sure. And that could be the cause of all this. Let me do a little massage. So you still do quite a bit of traveling, huh? Yeah, for, I for, yeah like maybe every two months I'm international, otherwise I... Twice a month, I think, uh, Michigan, where my headquarters is. Gotcha. So that traveling is, str I, for me at least, yeah. it's stressful yeah. on the body. I don't know how these guys do it on a regular basis, like they have jobs that just, just constantly traveling. Yeah. But they do. They find a way to deal with it. That's what I do. Oh, I yeah. guess you adapt and you get used to it but you those plain to, those plain seats man and i'm a small guy i don't know how these bigger guys yeah. deal with it you're so cramped up in there first class but still oh, oh my right side great great massage oh boy yeah we're focusing on this right side So, do, but does your, your wife does is learning massage? I mean, is learning acupuncture? Does she do massage? She does acupressure. Acupressure, yeah, 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 great. So I love it. Very intuitive and sort of puts her hand where it hurts without me telling. That's great. Yeah. That's great. <clears throat> and she's got, you know, I keep her. She got the full report of my last visit. I'm sure you'll be seeing her at some point. Oh, cool! I'd be honored to to help her out too, to take care of her. She's. Uh, you have less damage to deal with. Well. Got just a little warm-up. I like to warm up. All my patients get a warm-up before their adjustment. Well, I think the, and I've been doing that for years, almost since day one. I think it's very smart. Uh, and I think with the baby dingo, that's really smart, right? I think so, too. And, you know, getting back to the whole Asian thing, I've been, I, you know, my main sport growing up was martial arts. Mm -hmm. So it was always drummed into my head, warm up first before you train, warm up first before you train. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on up. That was a nice little warm up. Take your time, no rush. Yeah. Going into the ring dinger room again. Okay. And one little very, very minor thing. Okay. Um, head here on your back, you know what to do. Yep. <clears throat> Good. So Hands what, up top. What I'll do is I'll snuggle up once you get in. Yeah. Pin. Okay, scoot down though. You're like, through, keep going a little more, a little more. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm raising up the table first. Yep. <clears throat> Starting to know the drill. Yep. So because of that tightness on the right side, mm -hmm. your hips do it a little bit like this. It's, forced, isn't it? yeah. it's, it's unlevel, yeah. higher on the right. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll snuggle up once you get in yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, let them bend. Good. Good. Okay, now we're getting pins in. Let me come around the other side first. Most of the taller ring dinger doctors reach across. <laughs> I can't do the reach across. You do, you do it well. You I do, do it, it my way. way. You do it your way, brother. Brother doctor. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Is that too much for you? No, no, no. In. Now I'm going to push myself. And I usually I'm, tug your arms, but I'm, if you're doing it this way right and there. you feel snugged, you feel I, good? I think you got me. All right, cool. Let me get the towel going. Got to do a little spritz first. A little spritz. 
you want to tell the audience how, how old you are? Yes. Can, I'll tell them? Yeah. It's over that way. Yeah. 75. Yeah. So it, uh, the oldest patient I've ever pulled on the ring dinger was 89-year-old uh, young lady, wow. and she did well. So you're not the oldest by far. <clears throat> okay, lift up your neck and come down. Boop, boop, boop. Good. How's that on your throat? Too tight or good? No, no. Okay. okay. Just a reminder, keep the teeth together gently, though. No, don't mm -hmm. bite too hard. Mm -hmm. Stay as relaxed as you can, and I'll do the rest. You ready to go? Yep. Young man? All right, let's get some more tension pulled out of the spine. <clears throat> okay, just doing a little prayer. Now I'm going to get a good grip here. Stay as loose as you can. Bring your chin down a little bit towards your, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, you got it. You did it. You did it. I was a little sneaky, but the smile says it all. Oh, now. You got the lower back too. Good. All, all the way back. down. All that was my next question. And my next question is, this one compared to the first one, like which one was more intense? Which one was, how were they different or if they were they the same? The first was good, but this was damn good. <laughs> <laughs> so was this felt deeper, the second deeper, visit? Deeper. Oh, yeah. A lot of people say that. I tr oh, yeah. I'm trying to oh, yeah. gain information by questioning all you guys on your experience. Yeah. The first one opened it up, opened up some doors. Yep. The second one slammed them open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is... Very noticeable with the with the uh, uh, lower. Uh, oh, good. The lower back. More so than the first time. More so than the first time. Got it. All right. I want to do a little twist in your neck. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if we got anything left here. Stay relaxed. Nice. Let's see about this right side. Let it go. Relax your shoulder. Good and good. Done here. So when you feel ready, come on up on your feet if you need help. I love it. Wow. When you stand, stop for a second, kind of wiggle around, check out your body, report what feels different. It's floating. I'm floating. Yeah, you feel like lighter and loose. Yeah, floating and not jammed up. I love it. Yeah. And I could see it in your eyes. You, you, you're getting that nervous, that energy response again. Yeah. Because your eyes are clearer. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's I'm as if I'm, it's as if that silver string. It's pulling you up this way. Yeah. I love it. Good job. <laughs> you do a good job. Beautiful. You did the job. Man. Go well. You came though, and you showed up, face down on that table. And guess what? I should have had Zach film your your heels before, but he didn't. But they're even. So that whole right hip is down where it need where it's supposed to be, and you got very little twist or torque anymore. So that right now, as you lay here, you're 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 pretty damn lined up good. Is it going to stay that way? Probably not 100%, but yeah. it's going to stay more so than before, probably. Good. Yeah, even looser up in here, just from the paw. But now, now we're going to do a full body adjustment yeah, yeah. in conjunction with the pull because the pull is not a complete treatment. All you guys out there, I want you to know that. This is not just me. This is Dr. Johnson teaching it. The, the ring dinger decompresses this way, and it's great for the discs. But there's other joints in the spine called facet joints that also get jammed and misaligned, and it doesn't really get those that well. So now you got, if you want a full release, you got to do a full body adjustment in conjunction with the ring digger. So now we're about to start the, the, the full body. So we're going to do what's called a, a modified drop here. Come down a little bit more. Good. The belly part drops down, which actually makes this what's called a modified knee chest um, treatment, which I'll explain in a little bit. So the, this pops up when I push down on you, it's going to go boom. Mm -hmm. So just stay relaxed. Good. Too much. Let me know. Good. Whew. Good. Coming up the spine now a little bit more. Relax. Good. Stay loose. Good. Relax. Let it go. There. Good one. Good one. Good one. Nice. Okay. There wasn't too much going on the first time when I bent it, but let's see. Bend again. Tell me if you notice anything different. Easier. Feels more flexible. Easier. Yeah. Good. So that tells me 
a lot of jamming and compression is released from this region. So we're happy there. Now we're going to do more up this way. So I'm going to raise up the belly and we're going to do some drops through here. Relax, relax, relax. Good. Stay loose. Good. Good. I'm coming around to that side to do even a better job for you. <clears throat> Let it go. Good. Good. Okay. Now I want you to just lift up your head a little bit. Tilt it this way. Nice and wobble. Loose and wobbly. Good. Back in the center. Coming around the other side. Look up again. Tilt this way. Good. Back in the middle. One more drop for good luck. Nice. Good. All right. Tension-wise, it feels better, although I want to do one more for the muscles underneath the right scapula. So I forgot if we did this last time. Did we do where you put your hand back here and we did the muscles here? Okay. Take your right hand, put it here, palm up like you're half handcuffed. I know you don't know what that really feels like, but <clears throat> so we're going to work on all the muscles here and maybe even underneath the scapula a little bit. Just stay relaxed. Loose, loose, loose. See, I get it all up off the rib cage a little bit and then we can get underneath. <clears throat> Good. Pretty good flexibility here. A lot of guys that I try, I can't even get the scapula off the ribs. It's like cemented down and that's not good at all. I got some room in here for you, so good for you. Keeping that flexibility as you age is extremely important for longevity and health. Okay, now just because I don't want you to be lopsided, switch arms and we'll do the other side a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to be one side dominant. Loose as a goose. No, nope, just let me lift up your shoulder. Okay. All right, drop that down. How's that feel now? Loose as a goose? It feels looser. <laughs> looser than a goose? Yeah. Getting towards a goose. <laughs> I, used to, I don't know why I said it. doesn't make sense, but I used to say, loose as a goose with a noose on a caboose, just because it rhymed. Um, very good posture here. Looser here in the musculature. The sacroiliac is moving better, so better. Up here, too looser still tighter than it should be and we don't i want to just say i never expect perfection from one treatment we're making progress little ba baby progress and sometimes big leaps yeah, yeah. but progress not perfection is what we shoot for with each visit good all right roll over on your back when you're ready oops sorry face up face up face up face up that's it <clears throat> Good. Hands back to me. We're going to do a little stretch. Were you sore after your last one? Not bad. Not good. Bad. Good. Just doing a little stretch. Try to stay as loose as you can. <laughs> I'm going to try to get your knuckles to drag on the floor here. I want to just stretch them out a little bit more. That's not funny. Boop. And relax. Now slide your body down another inch or two towards your feet again. Good. I forgot. You're okay. Excuse me. You're okay doing feet and toes and everything? Okay. Just stay relaxed. Ooh, popping. Good. Good. All right. These are looser than before, too. They were a little tight if, based on my memory from last time. Good. Relax, relax. We're going to do a little tug here at the ankle. Stay loose. Is this the one or is this the one? Yeah, so loose here. Nice. Big boom. 
Let's see if we can get this one. <laughs> Relax. You okay if I do a good tug here, right? Absolutely. Loose. Good. We ah, we got some more movement. We got more movement. Up there too. Good. I don't think it, it was that releasing last time. No, no, here. no, it wasn't. No, 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 no. Good. So we're making progress. Awesome. Okay, sit up when you're ready. I'm ready, brother. Swing around, face a decent way. Good job. Much looser here. Turn. Dude, for your age, that's a, that's really good range of motion. Especially going this way. Tilt, tilt. Because we were, we were really we yeah. were much less, more, more, much more restricted. Before. Yeah, good. Okay, so now we're going to finish. Full body means all the extremities as well. So we're going to do a shoulder, an elbow, a wrist, and the fingers, both sides, and we'll be done for today. So start here, bend in front. Remember this one, I got to oh, give yeah. you a hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna Stay relaxed. Don't punch yourself in the face. Good. Give me this side. Loose, 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 loose. Good. Coming around a little bit in the elbow. Drop it in my hand. Stay floppy. Good. A little bit in the wrist. Good. Relax, 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 relax. Pull. Good. I don't want to give you any whiplash, though. <laughs> that keeps you coming back. <laughs> that's not nice. That's not nice. That's not funny. Drop. Stay relaxed. Good. Relax. Good. Loose. Pull. Good. You okay? Yeah. All right. Boom. I'm really, I'm really impressed. Done. I'm really impressed. I've had years of chiropractic work. This is faster and more, more, uh, uh, more comprehensive. I feel my whole body different. Good. Yeah. That makes me very happy. And yeah. thank you for the compliment. Yeah. This is my life. You know, everybody's got a calling. You got your calling. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is my call. That's a good one. I, I don't I don't want to come off like I'm bragging, but it's always been I've always picked the hands up stuff hands yeah. on yeah. stuff yeah. up yeah. kind of yeah. easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. So I just feel like it's 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 a blessing from God and I'm doing working my ass off every day to <laughs> to give that to the people because yeah. God gave it to me, I'm giving it to you guys. Well, I'm glad you gave it to me. Yeah. Thank well, you. it was a pleasure, and I'm, yeah. it's an honor to serve you. Well, You're you. doing great. Yeah. If you need more, you know what to no, do. I, Come I, back for I, more. I will not be here next week. I'm going to schedule uh, a week after next. I'll be out of town. Yeah, that's fine. I, that's weeks. fine. That's I think, fine. I, think, let, I, I want to stay in the front end. I want to go a little long in the front yeah. end with you. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it so that it knows what's going to. Starts to get into a position. And yeah, then we'll I agree. Keep, then we'll keep it. You know? The only way to test how how much you need mm -hmm. is to, to expand and let your body yeah, yeah. Um, go without it for a little while and see how it responds. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way to really yeah, know. Yeah. So I'll schedule for two weeks. Yeah. From today. Perfect. Same perfect. Time, perfect. Same place. Same. Same bat station. Same, same bat channel. Yeah. So see if we got it. I know you got another person. By yeah. the way. I now feel this heel on the floor. Wow. How long has it been since that's long happened? Time, man. I've been, Look, yeah. that's altering things. And you know what? You might get some sore spots in other parts of your body. And you understand yeah. the compensation yeah. for this yeah. has to now reverse. Yeah. So that might bring up some symptoms. If you get concerned, uh, reach out. We'll talk about okay. it. Okay, but, but I, I'm anticipating it yeah. as a it's good time. Now, I, I just want to make one more point for the audience and then we'll, we'll close off. I love it. I love it that you're coming at your age because it could, this stuff could benefit anybody at any age. Like I said, last week I had a six year old. Now I got a 75. And you don't have a, a tremendous amount of back pain. You're doing it for function and longevity. Are those your main goals? Yeah, Obviously, you got some right. stuff on that right side that you yeah. want to loosen up. Yeah, yeah. But when you keep your body aligned and you keep your body loose and, and, and flexible, it's, it's one of the most Im, uh, important markers for longevity and health that we could do for ourselves. Think in nature. Yeah, yeah. Healthy young animals and plants are flexible. They play. And they're, 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 they're loose and flexible. Yeah, yeah. So you keep, and that's major yeah. point in yeah. Chinese medicine. They're, yeah, they're really, really big on keeping the body flexible. Flexibility is a major sign of health. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good for you. I'm I, I'm an honored. I love I love that you're coming here. You're welcome to come anytime you want. You have great energy. Come back and I'll do my best to See help you. In two you. weeks. All right. Let's say goodbye to the audience. Dr. Eric Herman, Big Bill over here, signing off. Peace and love to everybody. God bless you out there. If this looks like something that you could you could benefit from, and you're local to the tri-state area, come by through. I'll do my very best for you too. 
The way to get me is you go to my website, uh, retrochiropractic.com, and you, there, all the information is there. Put your name in to the book now link, and my assistant will reach back out to you, and you guys can work out an appointment. And if you get here, my promise to you is I will do my very best to help you out. This is the Guru Chiropractor signing off. Peace and love. Out.